Fuck you, I'm on following. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All the comedy. Oh, that was, <laughs> was Kathy like, Anderson. It was like a week straight. I graduated with Sergey just went crazy. Like all of his posts had to do with women for like a week straight. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, he posted something really bad, and all the women were commenting on it. Oh, uh, the American women didn't like that, Sergey. No. They did not you like lo- that. You lost like a hundred uh, followers. <laughs> damn, damn, that's a big loss. Uh, anyway. Uh, welcome everybody to episode forty-one of Eggcast with John Egger. I'm sitting here with my good friend Jack Ross. My good friend Sirkan, introducing him to the podcast for the first time. Sirkan is like one of the best bass fishermen I've ever met. Sirkan, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I like to fish. Uh, I like to catch big ones. Yeah. And <laughs> tell me that joke you were telling me earlier. <laughs> I don't like lifting, so if you, <laughs> so if you want to know about me, I don't like lifting, but I like lifting big bass. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, we went out today, did a little fishing. Sirkane, Sirkane caught a big bass, man. Sirkane caught a big bass. That was cool, dude. <laughs> what? What are you pointing at him Tell him, for? Tell him how Jack did. Oh, yeah, Jack did good. <laughs> Jack, Jack, caught, Jack caught the most fish, though. You know? So you guys kind of tired in a respect. I, di- I didn't catch any fish. <laughs> I got sk- I, I, I didn't I didn't catch one fish. I, I got skunked. I, couldn't, I just couldn't get it going. I don't know what it was, man. <laughs> But, um, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, it's very nice to have you here, dude. Oh, thank you. So, like, thank I've been wondering, like, what's been going on in your life? Like, how have you been dealing with all this coronavirus stuff? Just wash your hands a lot during the day. So, if you're out there listening, um, keep your mouth closed. Wear, wear a mask. Wear something. Um, where, what, um, tell me about this device that you that you're it's wearing actually, right now. It's a hunting windbreaker. Like, it's yeah, a, it's a hunting wind. It covers your mouth. Like, it looks camo. Yeah. And <laughs> they said that you have to have something over your mouth covering if you leave your house. So yeah, I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, I understand. You know, that's weird. I saw some people out today without it. <laughs> But yeah, I guess I don't you're not think allowed to go to any stores without it. Yeah. Like everywhere you go now, there's a sign on the store that says yeah. "Can or without a mask." Damn. Yeah. Lucky I brought my mask to the grocery store the other day. I was just walking around, just like, what's so up? I saw a couple people in there without them. I was like, look at this fucking piece of shit guy. You know? Yeah. I like, remember like I, I remember like three weeks ago I went in with a mask and I was the only person in there in a mask. And everyone yeah. looking at me all weird. <laughs> yeah. And now they're all wearing masks. Yeah. Exactly. I, I, it's weird. I'll see people drive, and some some of them have like surgical masks on, yeah, well, or like whatever. Driving. Some people don't. You know, it's like a mix. I mean, if I wouldn't, if I was alone in my car, I wouldn't have it on. Yeah, if you're just going home. Yeah. Yeah. I guess if you're in like a car with people. Yeah. Then maybe I'd put it on. Yeah, but um, I was wondering, Sir Can, um, tell me how how have you been feeling about the American women? Ah, <sighs> they're in. They're entitled, they all have attitudes, and they're very reserved. I noticed that American women are really reserved, meaning, yeah. you know, they are in, they're in no rush to do anything, and, you know, they're just, they're reserved, you know? Uh-huh. So. Do you think all of them are li- reserved? A lot of them are reserved. They're not, you have to do all the work. You have to do all the interest showing. You have to, like, initiate everything. They're very reserved. So if you don't do any work... They can sit there and move on like it's nothing. That's what I realized about women. I guess I could see that you know, being true in certain circumstances, but I'm sure things go the other way too, you know. But like I know how I know how women can you know, I guess be about things like that. I don't know. But like, um, sir, Cam, my point was is that like, how have you been doing with like the the American women? Like, 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 um. I know you were telling me about like okay Cupid, you meet any like cuties on there? Yeah, just like, like my other friend here, I um use a dating app. It's yeah. He, I mean, I use okay Cupid. Yeah, so. yeah. Are there dating apps are like that's like commonplace now, you know, like like all the, especially like <laughs> like like you look at like Tinder, like anybody who's single is generally on like Tinder. You know what I'm saying? Or, yeah. Like, so some shit like that. Like, like you were asking, um, I think okay Cupid is more better because. You have more women who are willing to talk on there. Yeah. And other, compared to freaking Tinder, 
most women don't even reply on there. Even though they match with you, they don't reply. Yeah. And I how don't, do you? How have do you, you ever used Tinder? I don't know. I, I have used it in my past. Yeah. So a lot of them, even though they match, they don't. A lot of them don't really reply or talk. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think? Maybe probably because there's like a bunch of other people matching with them, saying the same thing. Yeah, they probably have. I, I mean, I'm sure girls have more of a selection. You know what I'm saying? Because more, most girls are generally like you, like you said, reserved and not necessarily in a bad way. But it's like they're just not like like guys, especially single guys. It's like they're always thinking about like trying to have sex with someone. You know? I mean, let's, yeah. just, let's just be honest. Like, like, like um. But girls could be single and they might just like go for a walk, drink a bottle of wine. Like some girls, it's like not really like. They're crazy about sex. Some girls are the same way, you know? Like, they have, like, a higher sex drive, I guess, whatever, you know? But it's, like, people just have a different... People just do different shit. People have, like, different, like, priorities, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you're like, saying a lot of girls don't care about, you know, getting laid, but a lot of girls actually do care about getting laid. Yeah, I'm sure, like, plenty do, but I think, like, a lot aren't that worried about it. And probably because generally girls will just, like, ha- like like, that's the thing. Like, guys will always, like will always assert to girls like i feel like do you think that do you think that's biological like do you think that do you think like that like that general trait of like the guy like initiating and like asking a girl out and like blah 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 like do you think that's like do you think that comes from like a biological yeah. like like um that's how it is in most like most animals it's like the male has to impress the female yeah it's like, like female fish, selection like, is what it's called did you did you see those fish on did you, did you ever watch night on earth no like bbc night on earth it's on netflix there's these fish that collect shells and they collect shells and make these shell nests and then they sit in the middle of the shell nest and they call they have to do the best call to the female so they'll just sit there like ah, like <laughs> and like do the call and then like the thing and like the one dude kept the one dude kept stealing shells from the other dude's pile oh my God. like like it's crazy <laughs> but um yeah you know i'm kind of like hoping to get back into some more bass fishing this summer Sir can. Yeah, we. Could, I haven't been doing it as much, but we could, you know, do more. You know, hopefully there's days that there's no more days that you get stuck this year, like you know today. Um, yeah, yeah it, mu- it must be yeah, rough. It's, yeah, it sucks, man. But like you know, it's not even that. Like it doesn't even really bother me that much. You know, right, it's just right. it was just nice to be outside. All right. Just be chilling. You know, I used to get so frustrated with like fishing. You know. Yeah. And like it sucks when you like get real mad and like do something. I'm just like I'm not that. <laughs> Are you okay, sir? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah. I'm all right. Yeah. You good? Right. Wait, um, sir, Ken, what is your big move like when you catch a big bass? Like, show me how. Bring me to the moment. Like when you catch a big bass, what happens? <laughs> <laughs> what else? What else? What else? What else do you do? What do you do to shove it in somebody's face? I can't go that far. Yeah, our, I don't know. Our audience is like young or old. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah. I can't. I can't. Make you know. Too. Yeah. Just do it. They're definitely not young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> John, definitely not old. But John, so what did you think of the quality of size of bass I caught today? I thought it was pretty good, sir. Can I haven't seen a big fi- fish like that in a while. Like the best thing about a bass when you pull it up is like if the if you see the mouth is big. Then you're like, oh, it's big, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. if like the mouth is little, you're like, oh, it's small, you know? Yeah. But if you pull up like a large mouth bass, bass, large mouth bass, <laughs> and um, the mouth mm-hmm. is big, you're just like, oh shit, that's a big fish. And when that came up, I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And you pulled it up, and it was like a three and a half, four pounder, right? I'll give it a four. Yeah. Let's, you know. <laughs> yeah. Let's leave yeah. that three out of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four. <laughs> But yeah, that was really cool to see that. I caught a carp in there one time. It was pretty big. In that same place we were fishing at. Yeah, yeah. on like that. I think it was on like what? that that, that, crank, that uh, crankbait rod. Yeah, I, I remember that. That the was lady started climb? yelling at us. I know. While you had the fish out of the water. I know. Yeah. It's a big fish. Yeah. I, carp fishing was fun. Pound. Yeah, I know. I used to love going carp fishing in Lac I know. Lac was a neighborhood for y'all that know. Y- you know but like for anybody who doesn't it's just like it's like this neighborhood behind like the grocery store like whatever like things things can get crazy there is all i'm saying yeah like 
things things get dicey. <laughs> yeah. Like, but we would go fishing in the lake there, and the lake is like fucking like chocolate brown. It's like it's like, sh- it's like shit brown. There's like trash everywhere, like, and <coughs> my bib. Oh, thank you. We would go fishing, and um, we would catch some pretty good carp. Some. Catfish. Some catfish. Yeah. There's catfish in there. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait. What yeah, about that big like one? Little catfish. No. Oh yeah, yeah. There's catfish in there. No. That's, that's not what we're talking about. But how is there catfish in there? It's all man-made. There's catfish in there. Who? They just like stocked it. They're in there. What, what are you talking about? La Cascada uh, behind Shop, right? On Kelly Driver's Lane. Like in Mount Laurel. No. <laughs> no, like around here. Uh, I don't think you ever been. I don't think you've ever been there. No, I haven't. It's a carp spot. No, the circuit has never caught a carp. Really? really? No. Call bullhead catfish all the time. Every summer I go around here. Dude, the carp, the carp in La Cascada have like tattoos. Like, yeah, I know. They're thugs. <laughs> like, yeah, they got a battle scar. You know what I'm saying? Like those things are those things. Yeah, those things battle like geese every day. Yeah. And, <laughs> what the? And like people, honestly, yeah, us no, like fishing them and, and kids shit. like and kids. There, and I remember kids. there were so many times we'd be there and the carp. You can because you can see the lake so shallow. You can see all the carp swimming. Yeah. Around. The kids would sh- throw like rocks at them and stuff like that. So messed up, yeah. Sounds like something Jeff would do. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm sound sure like it Jeff does sound do. like something Jeff would do. One time I called <laughs> Jeff on this on this podcast, and like he answered the phone and then hung it up. Like, <laughs> like he didn't even like listen to what I said. He was just like, <laughs> and hung like you know. Jeff's been hitting me up like every single day trying to get me to go fishing with him. Really? Yeah, like out of nowhere. That's like, funny. yo, let's fish. That's funny. Yeah, that'd be fun go fishing with Jeff. That Jeff used to do some crazy. Like, yeah, remember Jeff. when this for for anybody who doesn't know our buddy. Um, I'm not gonna say his last name, but just like you know, Jeff, crazy Jeff. Yeah. Like um, he used to ride down the street, like with like when we were in like middle school on his bike. And there'd be cars behind him, and he'd be holding up the cars, and he had his he would have his pants down, <laughs> and his, he'd just have his ass out in the middle of the road, and people were honking like, "What the fuck are you doing? What's going on?" And there's like people like laughing, like it was fucking hilarious. He was in, insane, bro. Jeff was crazy. Like, there was a lot of. Remember, do you remember that time we were at Lander's house, and Jeff pulled up? Yeah. Cause like yeah, what, we told Jeff he couldn't go fishing with us. Yeah. And he like followed us. Like, he, I, I swear he had like trackers on our phones. Like he always knew where we were. Yeah. He, like, he found us on like Shoes Landing Road and like started following us. Yeah. We were like, you can't come. And what he followed that? us all the way to Landers. And then we put our bikes and went inside Landers. And Jeff went to go inside. Yeah. And I remember Lander, we put like, all our bikes in the house. Yeah. Then Lander like went to like shove Jeff. And then Jeff shoved him back. And Lander <laughs> picked up his rod picked up Jeff's rod and threw it like out into the street <laughs> oh no and like something broke on the reel oh and Jeff came back to the door like screaming crying again yeah and then that's when Lander's dad came down yeah that was crazy and Lander's dad kicked him out and then we w- we waited in Lander's house for like a good hour to make sure Jeff was gone yeah and as soon as we came outside Jeff was right around mm-hmm. the corner I know he waited he waited an hour and he was in tears I know, I remember that. that was Wait, what, what year Didn't your that? mom show up? No, no, no. Lander's no. mom or something? Lander's mom was mad. No, yeah. but remember? He was screaming, cursing, and the lady at the pool... Came up and was yeah, like, like... yelled at him, and Jeff was like, fuck you. <laughs> when was that? <laughs> we that, gotta get out of here. You got that was so real? funny. I love I love watching situations and not having like a hand in any I of know. it. You know, like... When, when was, was it? 100% between Jeff and Lander. A couple years yeah. ago? That was a long time ago. We were still on bikes, so probably like 2014, oh. 2015. Damn. Yeah. We used to ride our bikes everywhere fishing and shit. Yeah. And like, that was fun. I remember, I remember, um, the funniest thing ever is when we were at that little pond, that little pickerel pond in like, uh, yeah. like around like Sicklerville. And, um, um, this guy, this kid, Jake, uh, was, was like kind of like a heavy kid at the time. Good, good buddy of mine. Uh, like good friend of ours like he was running down the sh- down the road or down or not down the road down like the end of the lake like around the lake and he's like guys there's a guy coming there's a guy there's a guy and then like he he was just like booking it and then the guy came up and was like can you guys please leave <laughs> like we were like okay like <laughs> i can't believe tell me about the story when you guys were uh walking with the airsoft guns oh yeah that's great and you got capped by the police yeah, we came out of like, 
Because didn't Jake on, attack yeah, one? Yeah, Jake. Well, Jake <laughs> left before us. <laughs> Jake left like 15 minutes before us, and then me and Lander were like following him up. So yeah. Jake was a good a good bit in front of us, and then me and Lander were standing together. Yeah. We came out like where on Lower Landing Road, where like Lakeview is. Yeah, yeah. And as we came out of the woods, we had the airsoft guns out. They had like the tips on them, the orange tips on them, and everything. Yeah, yeah. But. Lander had, like, his camouflage, like, he had, like, a cousin in the army or something. He used to wear that when he played. Yeah, And I was yeah. probably in, like, a winter coat and, like, yeah. like jeans or I don't know. Yeah. And so as soon as we walked out, Didn't there Jake was, like, a... did Jake have a ghillie suit on? Yeah, Jake had a full-on <laughs> ghillie suit on. And he was yeah. walking down Lower Landing Road with that suit on. Yeah, yeah. But, like, <laughs> when we walked out, there was a car, and the car, like, squ- like, squ- like slammed the brakes and, like, turned and, like, squealed. Yeah. And, like, flew around us. And we were like, oh, that was weird. Yeah, yeah. And I think they thought that we were, like gunman coming to like get him yeah i i think i i feel like i almost remember that like i was there like i saw a car look at us and be like yeah but like i was i wasn't there when that happened to you guys no but it was it was as so then we started walking we walked like across and we were i remember we were standing like at the lakeview sign like where you turned to get on to like 42 yeah yeah and there were we saw like three cops flying from one direction with their lights on we were like oh something's wrong yeah, yeah. And then, like, they all pulled in, like, from one direction. They pulled in, and they, like, blocked the road and made, like, a circle around us. And then I turned around, and there was more from, like, the other side of Lower Landing. Mm-hmm. And then, like, three of them came out of Lakeview and blocked, like, the Lakeview entrance. Mm. We had, like, a whole... We had, like, a whole, like... Like, like circle around us. And they all were out. They had, like, their gun, their hands on their guns. And they were like, drop your weapons and put your hands up. And Damn, like, oh, really? Oh, my God. Me and Landon were like, they're fake. They're fake. Yeah. They're, just, they're just toys. Wait, and then Jake got tackled by a police yeah, officer. Yeah, but then like Jake was like the scraggler, like because he was ahead. And, yeah. Like, the cop literally like went up behind him, and I don't know if the cop like yelled at him first or not, but he for Jake didn't like recognize the cop was there, and the cop literally just jumped on his back and like took him down on the ground. That's crazy. <laughs> and then the cops, because we were, yeah. none of us were like eighteen, like we were all like I was probably fifteen, and I think they were seventeen. Yeah, yeah. So they had to release us to our parents. Yeah. So like the the cop just drove us to Jake's house. Yeah. And then they, we all had to wait at Jake's house with like all these cops. And Jake's parents were like, they were so like mad. notorious for getting mad at Jake for doing like stupid stuff. Yeah. And, like they came out and like for like an hour there was like ten cop cars and all of us out there and Jake's dad was so mad. Yeah, I can imagine. And That's Jake's crazy. Like, it's not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's so funny. Where he used to be like um. Like, what, like, I'm trying to think of just, like, the shit he used to say, like, that, like, it's like, it's not my fault, Dad. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I remember, um, do you remember that time we were fishing in, um, that place in, like, Hamilton area, like, Halawasa? Yeah. And I fell into the lake. <laughs> Cause I was standing on the train tracks. Yeah, yeah. That fucking sucked. Oh, I totally forgot. I'm, about I, that. I'm just lucky I didn't break my fucking ankle. Yeah, that was a, a steep drop. Yeah. I guess there maybe there was a, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it's like you thought the train tracks were like covered by leaves. Yeah, I was like stepping and on. You them. like stepped to where the leaves were, but there was nothing like underneath of them. Yeah, and I fell. And like, you fell like into the train tracks. Yeah, and then I just like yeah. I, ju- I just like tucked it into the water yeah. like. I fucked up my phone when I did that. Really? Yeah, I remember that. That was... I miss fishing at those places, though, because, like, it used to be crazy because we could never find something like that, and then we fished that place for, like, the first time, and we were like, whoa, this place is crazy, and now it's probably, like... It's probably, like, not even that good there. I don't really know. Sir, can tell me, though, like, um, what are your, like, what are your favorite... Do you, do you like... Besides... I, we all know you're, like, a pro bass fisherman, but, like... Besides that, like, do you like do you like doing any other types of fishing? Do you like sea sea fishing, like deep sea fishing? Uh, like... spot croaker fishing in like August to September, and even into October a little bit. Like, yeah. you know, spot croakers. Mm. Yeah. Uh, flounder fishing. Well, I thought croakers and spot were two different fish. No, they're they're well, they are croaker fish and a spot fish. They're different species, yeah. but a cro- a spot croaker. You could just pull up right near a bay down the shore or like anywhere yeah. when the time, like the season, and just catch them on like a little piece of chicken and a uh, heavy uh, ball weight, like an yeah, egg, you know. So. Yeah, that'd be cool. I really want to. I hope we can go down and like 
places down the shore and like go fishing. Like that'd be really cool. I know so many. I know like two flounder places I could take you to. Yeah. I go there. Like I have pictures of it on my Instagram. My barber, you know. That'd be yeah. fun. I don't know. I wonder if we're gonna be allowed to go out there. I don't think with so. With the whole quarantine. Yo, and this shit, bro. This is. I'm not gonna be able to go down the shore. I'm gonna lose my mind, then. I know, man. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be going down the shore. Can you sneak in there? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Yo, yeah. he liked it. Look, 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 look. Who? The guy, the guy who hangs out with the Guga Squad. He promotes them and everything, and they give him free baits. He hangs out with them, bro. He goes fishing with them. He liked it. He liked it. Ah! <laughs> Wait, let me see that guy. Bro, he's 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 got forty seven thousand followers, and he follows you. Yeah. Why? Because he gave me the free baits, and he found out who I am. I got I won the contest. It was a um, random drawing from a generator on on the computer. Remember that day I told you I won a a pack of like yeah, all these baits. Yeah. Let me see, sir. Can this guy right here? He hangs out with the Guggen Squad. Who's the Guggen Squad? Jack, you know who the Guggen Squad is. The fishing video, YouTube bit people. Yep. That's pretty cool. They have like, they all have like a million and a half subscribers on their YouTube. One of them has like 800,000 though. He's like one of the not so good ones out of the group. As far as YouTube is concerned. <laughs> nice, okay. <Yeah. laughs> Damn, man. That's crazy. So, okay, why don't you just become like a pro bass fisherman, dude? Live out your dream. Like, um, I don't think they could handle me. You I don't think, think they could. <laughs> they don't, I don't think I they think could. they'd want to. I think you'd, you'd get them views. Yeah. Yeah, I could be good. Yeah, you'd be like, what? I feel like, I mean, honestly, like, I like, like, I haven't even been fishing that much. Like, I would have to like start brushing up on stuff and like get it. But I feel like if like. I feel like if all of us like decided to, and plus other people we know, we could all just like start fishing, and I bet you we could like do okay, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> but I guess you have to like start with it and like really take off with it, I guess. Yeah. But like. Oh yeah, you remember you subscribed to my YouTube channel? I don't know, maybe yeah. Yeah, you did. You saw my video and like you're like. Oh yeah, I was watching you catch your fish. Yeah. Yeah. That I was mean, cool. How'd you know to when me? to record it? Where you just kept you were. Recording. I just had a good feeling if I cast it out there, and it wasn't a bass. It wasn't. Didn't you like put it in your in your tree or something? I, I I put it. There was like a little opening in the tree where I could keep something on there without it falling. Yeah. And oh. dude, that was the perfect moment. <laughs> I got on camera. I didn't even edit. Or I didn't have to do it, no editing, none. Yeah, that's so funny. Perfect. How many cool. views does the video have? The view has the video has like a hundred and four views. Yeah, yeah. Nice. But I'm pretty surprised I didn't get like a thousand, at least a thousand, because it was like one of those random videos where random catch, you know? Like, yeah, man. Should have put that in like the. Like, we got to get somebody to hide. Tell, send it to your boy. Be like, hey, repo repost this video. <laughs> he'll probably right. be like, he'll probably be like, okay. Like, <laughs> but that's all I have is four subscribers on YouTube, though. What the fuck? You should add that guy on, on YouTube, and maybe he'll like get back to you. But, yeah, man, we're just hanging out. What is it today? Saturday, April 11th. We're just chilling on a Saturday. We're only about, like, 23 minutes in. We can probably keep this, like, a like a shorter episode if you want, sir, Kim. But, 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 if, you have, but if, if you have anything else to talk about, let me know. Because, like, I really, I think I want to I wanna host this show, and I want to be a good host for you, but I really want to know what's on your mind. Um, you know so how long have you been out of fishing? Uh, <laughs> probably <laughs> about like, well, I don't know. When was the last time I was like actually fishing all the time? Like a long time ago, probably like four years. Yeah. Maybe no, like, I mean like, I would say you stopped like seriously fishing like soft end of sophomore year. Yeah. So like five so, years like well, well you right? have a bass yeah. fishing though randomly like in the like summertime yeah so. randomly yeah, I no, caught, yeah he randomly he caught that nice fish when we I went caught, camping i caught that time. nice fish yeah when we went camping i took like three casts in the lake and i caught like a five pounder and i was, just stopped it i was just like i'm not gonna fish the rest of how, this was trip. that like a while ago right yeah and uh, it was like a couple of, a couple of years not ago not even two years ago yeah like coming up on two years yeah, coming up on two years so yeah. um now, was that the last time you actually went bass fishing or something? Uh, I mean, kind of. Like, I've been going here and there with, like, Jack or something. 
Like we fished like Valley Brook the other day, but like I didn't catch anything. We just went like for an hour at night, like through chatterbaits, didn't really didn't catch work. anything. Yeah. Damn, like, bro, you gotta help my man get all the fish, bro. I <laughs> thought we were gonna be good at that golf course. Yeah, I know, man. It sucks we got kicked out. I do want to get on some fish, but you know what? We'll start doing it again. I'll start. I'll start getting into it more now that we now that. I mean, like, what else is there to yeah do? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm actually looking forward to uh, out fishing in more days, more times to come. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, give me like, give me like two weeks. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be um, <laughs> smoking you and fish. Right? Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I'll be like, and, ah, I'll, and yeah. I'll be, and I'll be doing what you do. I'll be like running in the spots ah, like this. I'll be like, yeah. I'll be like, <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. I'll, have, I'll have like five rods in my hand. I'll be like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Sir, if you still want that rod that I broke, it's in the fucking mud at, at uh, that lake. <laughs> Dude, you know what Sir Ken did to me the other day? What? We were fishing, and he casted one of his rods out, like, across, like, the half the lake, like, yeah. to block me from casting. Yeah. And then he left it there and picked up another rod and started fishing <laughs> that one. Yeah. I was desperate, dude. He was His sole purpose was just to block me from casting. Yeah. I was like, Sir Ken, stop it. <laughs> like, pick wait, that up. Wait, what happened? Say that one more I, time I had I left my line in the water so just in case when I returned I already had a bass on there ready to be reeled in so then I could cast my bait caster swing jig in there right away and yeah so you're casting two things <laughs> at a time because I'm, I'm trying to catch up with he beat me nine to three that day so and you're not I was wasting beating him one you're not time wasting any time. time you're just getting lines in the water that was so exactly yeah. I'm not wasting any time that's so funny. funny damn what was I just about to say um oh yeah I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about since we have all worked at this sanitation job in Camden, New Jersey. I'm just gonna leave the details at that. But uh, we have all worked at this specific place and like, I kinda wanted to like, think like, when you're working in Camden, Camden can be kind of a rough city. What's like the nastiest thing you've seen there, Sir Ken, working um, at night? One woman, she decided, it was a white, uh, you know, white lady, uh, yeah. she decided <laughs> to walk behind the bush yeah. and piss and take a shit in front of everybody. <laughs> That was one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, dude. Wait, yep. so she shit and pissed next to the bush? Yup, and we everybody who was working on that day on the job yeah. saw the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, a lot of people saw what she was doing. Damn. So that's one of the craziest things I've ever seen actually a woman do. Yeah. And I've never seen a man go that far as... You know that right there. Yeah, yeah. So that has me wondering sometimes. Dude, I only worked there like a couple <laughs> of years, but like the nastiest thing I can say I saw there is probably I saw a homeless guy uh, jerking off. Ah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Oh my! Yeah. I remember that he was Jack, on. The, but yeah, the worst part was there was, a, there was another homeless guy just standing there watching, watching. and he was like s trying to circle us and shit. But yeah. then we like we just like yeah. squared up with him and he like, went away. Yep. At oh, the barrier. Oh my god. Yeah. Some guy was laying up against against like an orange one of those orange plastic barriers they put in like parking lots and he was just like jacking it. Like laying like laying there. Fucking ugh. Yeah, that was nasty. Imagine like his like that guy's life story, like it's on like that's definitely when he's at like his low point. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. And then it's I, I hope Hopefully that's he goes back up. I hope that's not where he's like, Oh, this is great. Like he's like <laughs> finally he was just able to like be able to like Yeah. I've seen some other nasty stuff there, too. Yeah. Dude, can we tell the story about how you took the shit in the dumpster? No. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, whatever, I don't care. All right. I mean, I didn't want to, like... I mean, that kind of tells the story itself. <laughs> but, like, sometimes you got to go, you got to go. You know what's a really funny story? What? It's when you used the porta potty there, and you were like, I need toilet paper. And I was like, does anybody <laughs> out here have toilet paper? <laughs> yeah. And some guy was like, yeah, man, hold on. And, and he handed me something. And you keep... Yeah, because all the homeless people, like, lived in the porta potties I know, and Sometimes there would be an empty one. Yeah, and like the dude was like living in the one next to me, and he he lent me some, but he didn't give me like a lot. He gave me like a couple squares. Yeah, so he was yeah. Like rationing and shit. Yeah, man. I wish like Pretty the guy. Funny. Um, I wish the guy, cause I think I got you a napkin from the guy from the right, but I think the guy that lived on the left wasn't like the big one. I think yeah. he probably had more. Yeah. He probably had better stuff, you know. Yeah. That's crazy. Remember there was like a couch in one of those, and yeah. he was just chilling. I remember that. There was another one. We remember the one in like the. Lot 13. Yeah. Where, like, the dude was hanging, and we were talking to that dude. Yeah, because they made us clean up behind the porta potties where the drain was. Yeah. Yeah, he was, like, he was, like, helping us clean it up. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Remember that yeah. lady who, like, would, he, she, like, followed us around for a good, like, 30 minutes just picking up trash? 
And yeah, we did, she's and we were helped like, us. And for, first I was, was like, guys, just let, us, let's let her help us. First like, she was just putting it in our bags, and then I was like, here, you can have a bag. I gave her a bag, and she started putting the trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, we're, re- outs- we're outsourcing. Yeah. We're, but, like, she should get hired, man. Like, yeah. She was awesome. But she something. was just like, she just she disappeared. She was definitely on something. Yeah, man. But, like, so to funny. get... We gave her a task, and she was like, thank you. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was like, happy. She was like, grateful. Yeah. That was cool. We should talk about um Jermake a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Our good friend Jermake. Uh, Jermake. Jermake, like, Jermake one time found a a thousand dollars in a in a fanny pack in a fanny pack, <laughs> and he didn't show up to work for the next five shows. Yeah. And um, like I was assu- can only assume he he was just like getting fucked up, you know, like. Yeah. And like, then he came back and was like, "I need to work." <laughs> and our boss was like, "No." <laughs> and he was like, "Come on, man!" And he just didn't leave. And then and he like, just ended up working anyway. Yeah, like he like got his own. Somehow he like brought his own bag. <laughs> like he had his own bag. He no one gave him a bag. He just got his own bag and brought it. And he was just like, "Look, man, I'm doing it. I'm I'm working." Like I asked him what he spent all the money on, and he said he spent it all on his son for school. Yeah, really? I don't think he did. Yeah, probably not. No, he definitely, definitely did not. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Sirkan um, was so mad when that happened because Sirkan was like next in line. Right, right. He was right in front of me. I was going to it, then he just like he ran. He runs right. He runs even faster <laughs> in front of me. Sirkan, why don't you do a Jamaican sound? <laughs> yeah, he's, he sounded like a dinosaur. <laughs> he was like a, di- a Flintstones dinosaur. Like he was like Jamaican was like he was like. <laughs> He'd be like, Jermaine, he'd be like, <laughs> Yeah, let me hear it. No. Like, come on, we all did it. No. Come on. Jermaine no, would go like, <laughs> like, he would do shit like that. Like, wow. <laughs> like, he would go like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember, Dude, what the fuck is remember this? When he, remember when the trailer fell off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, we're, dude, I've never experienced anything like that before. <laughs> What happened? When the trailer fell off. Oh, that was crazy. We were on, we were on the back of a um, Sean's truck. of a truck, <laughs> like a like a like a truck. It was towing a trailer, and we all sit on the back of it. That's how we get around at this job. And the dude was driving, and the, I'm not gonna say who was driving, but the dude was just sauced, like dr- like drunk, fucked up. This guy was like, was like he was messed fu- up on like everything. Like a functioning addict. Yeah, he's messed up on a bunch of shit. And like he was drinking like beer, like as he's yeah. like, driving, <laughs> and and he like. The, the trailer came off and then like he stopped and then we fucking ran into it like yeah. ran into the to the, the truck. truck yeah it was, uh, like that was brutal do you remember the one the do you remember the two crackheads that hit, it, that hit <laughs> yeah. his truck that was yeah. bad oh, we, we were out in front of the place that we work at I'm not gonna say where but um in Camden it's like a popular spot and um these two guys came around and they swung around they had to be going and, like at least fifty miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, and like um, I mean, I mean that was a wide street too. Like they had so much room. Yeah, to not yeah, do that. yeah. No, but we all knew it was happening because like, it's so, it's crazy too. Because like we were two walking on the train be- tracks. Like, I didn't even two see two minutes it before happening. that. We were all I sitting on the trailer, looking. and Rich was like, "Get off the trailer, just go walk around. I want you guys all sitting here." Yeah, yeah. And like, we were like, "All right, whatever." And like we just started like walking around. And then I, you could hear the car coming down the street because it had a bad like exhaust leak. Yeah, and yeah. You heard it come flying, and I was like, oh. Then I turn around, and like no brakes or anything, just like smack, right? Yeah. It was so it was loud. Like, he had to be high as fuck. Yeah. Like, he went and then we all ran like, up. Smoking. Yeah. And we, we all, all ran, ran up to up. check what was going on, and Rich was like, Rich was like, go work, go yeah, go yeah, back he's over. Like, Get out of here. He's like, go back over. Yeah, because everyone came over, like started banging on the doors of the yeah. crackhead's car, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Rich was like, no, no, like what if these people aren't like. And then the people got out and they like threatened them. Yeah. And then they had to like, <laughs> like hit them with care shovels. Of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you remember they, they the car the car hit them though, and then a shovel flew off the the trailer and hit that. There was one kid. It was like his first time there, yeah. and like the the thing flew off the shovel flew off the trailer and hit him in the arm and he broke his arm. <laughs> he, like, and no, he was on the trailer and then he flew off the trailer and got hit by a shovel. Damn. At the same time. That sucks. Damn, that's crazy. Like I, rem- I remember that shit happening, and then like I guess the cops showed up. 
Well, Shawnee Mack got thrown <laughs> like into. He was standing in the t- like in the bed, and he got thrown into the toolbox in the back of his trailer. Really? Yeah, he like bent the toolbox. No. Yeah, he that. broke like three ribs. What Sean? The ball shot. Well, they're both ball, but what Shawnee Sean? Mack. The one whose truck got hit. That's <gasps> no. That's, I, that's, I, I, that's, somebody told me he was actually in the passenger seat. I thought he seat. was in the car. He was in this already in this passenger seat. He he it, that all happened when he was in his car. Really? I yep. thought somebody said that he, he flew. He was in the back. No, and he flew that was what, that was some other guy that we just hired that night. <laughs> oh, that's he, the guy. That's yeah. the guy who got hit by the shovel. And he never yeah. came back. And now his parents told him apparently that oh you're not allowed to go back there no more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was kind of young, like. Yeah. <laughs> he's a little younger, but. Yeah, yeah. yeah can you imagine like? Shawnee Mac probably, probably got hit and was like, oh fuck, I got hit. <laughs> like, like, no, no, Shawnee Mac. Johnny Mac had a cooler full of liquor in his trailer. <laughs> <laughs> like open bottles of liquor. I know. In the bed of his truck. I know. That's crazy. That's so, so crazy. Funny. Dude, DoorDash right now, if you were to deliver right now, yeah. 550 bonus. Yeah. Normally, during the whole entire week, it's only like 2 or $1.50. Oh, uh, I thought you meant like $550. No, no, no. Th- like, their bonus right now is no, $5. double cents. what they would pay normally during the week right now. Because it's a busy night, everybody wants to eat, not chill, and not have to yeah, cook or anything. True. So that, I, I get notifications from that. That's why I'm just looking at that. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I might start doing that. You schedule your own self. You don't. It, you work for yourself. Do you have? A, are you like so? Like, but like, are you employed if you do that? No. Yes. Well, if you make six hundred or more, you they they send you a ten ninety nine, and you have to show that. And that's how your ca- tax returns get adjusted. Okay. So if you're making 600 or more yeah. within what, like two weeks? Until next t- filing month? season. So a year. Oh, so if you make anything over 600 in a year. Yep. Doing like DoorDash, Uber Eats, or Grubhub, or Postmates. Yeah, yeah. I was just wondering because like this whole stimulus thing is supposed to kick in. Yeah, we're not getting it. Yeah. Wait, what? Me and John are dependents. Yeah. Oh, I, I, nobody claims me, and I claim only, only myself. Then you'll so I'll get, get it. it. Yeah, you'll get it. Yeah. Wait, you did you hear it. what they were saying? We might not actually, even the people who are getting your truck, I might not see it till September. When really? Because yeah. it's pending in Dan's bank account. No. Yeah, he sent me a screenshot. <laughs> Dan who? I want to check my, I mean, I, I. I checked mine. It's not, John. I put, it's not. You're going to be disappointed if you I change. put mine, I put mine, I put myself to be able to be claimed as a dependent, but I don't know. I should have told my dad not to fucking claim me. But, yeah, but then your dad gets also, money from you too. So it's like, if he doesn't claim you, it's like. You yeah. I mean? And you are like living here. No. I only see my Postmate direct deposit, DoorDash, Pat Boys, and Dex. I guess yours isn't coming. Probably because Dan's a firefighter. He was like that firefighter bank. Yo, I only owed you 10 today. I gave you 20 by accident. Did you? Yep. All right, I'll check when I get in the car. Yep. Are you sure? I'm positive. I gave you three fives and five ones. I, I gave you all that money by accident. All right. Yeah. Sir Ken, I like your I like your bass picture. It's pretty cool. Oh, shit, I, dude, I gave him $20 instead of 10. I owed him 10. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I know. Damn. Ah, damn. I'm like an old man, dude. I'm starting to like have like spine problems and shit. But um, yeah. I think this this might be a good time to wrap it up. Just keep it like a short and sweet one. I know you guys are kind of hungry. Yeah. yeah. Golden nuggets, I can. Yes. I kind of. <laughs> I could. I honestly could eat. Can we? Like. Go get food and come back here. Or yeah, we could because it's just takeout, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. So it's we could like, we could like we could like order and get it. Yeah. Okay. What what's good there? Um, boneless everything. bites. Everything. What what are they called? The boneless bites. Boneless bites. Yeah. All right, I'll get some of those. Get really ranch good. on the side. I, I like, like blue ranch. cheese. I don't like either, and they charge you for it. Really? Yeah. Not a lot. I have I yeah, have. Yeah, Sirkan's cheap and he pays for it. <laughs> Sir, can you buy me some blue cheese, my brother? <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll pay get, for the for the for the things. Yeah, I'll dollars. get you blue cheese for the dollars or whatever. I'll get you blue cheese. Yeah, give me some blue cheese. I got you, bro. Yeah, give me a little bit of blue cheese. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you gave me beer. I got you. Give me, I don't give even me, need to have give me, a beer. Give me, give me. We have to end the show cheese. on a. <laughs> you know. Let me see. Ah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Cool. You guys like that laugh? Yeah, awesome. Like it? <laughs> yeah. Um, everybody make sure to follow, Thursday. like, and subscribe. Check all that shit out. Um, you can find this on, you know, Apple, Spotify, YouTube, Stitcher, anywhere. Um, anywhere Sirkan is listening, you can be listening. So, um, Sirkan, thank you so much for coming, buddy. For name's sake, Jack. Follow me on uh, Instagram, here. everybody. It's my first and last name, 93. Yeah, Instagram. follow so. Sirkan, S-E-R-K-A-N. -S I'm going to put it... I'm gonna put it right here at the end. I'm gonna put his thing. So um, yeah, I'll put it. I'll put it like right here. All right. Follow for a follow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. American women, hit up my man Sirkan. He's 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 available. He's fucking a great bass fisherman. He'll take. He'll protect you. He's an outdoorsman, and he's an American. America. Yeah. America. Peace, peace and love, motherfuckers. Stay safe. We're out.